कार्पोरेट फाइनेंस इज द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट अप्लाई टू ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर्म ऑफ बिजनेस लेट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू बिजनेस वेंचर यू पुट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टू एसेट्स ऑफ द फर्म टू स्टार्ट दिस न्यू वेंचर विद दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट यू परचेज रॉ मेटीरियल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन यू अरेंज लेबर एंड अदर प्रोडक्शन फैसिलिटीज यू एक्वायर अदर प्रोडक्टिव एसेट्स इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोड्यूस गुड्स और सर्विसेस फॉर योर एक्सटर्नल मार्केट देन यू प्रोड्यूस एंड सेल गुड्स इन द मार्केट नाउ दिस एक्टिविटी आर अ ग्रुप ऑफ एक्टिविटीज जनरेट्स कैश इनफ्लोज एंड कैश आउटफ्लोज फॉर द बिजनेस फॉर्म नाउ देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ मिस मैच बिटवीन दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ कैश इन कैश फ्लोज रिमेंबर दीज कैश फ्लोज आर द टूल्स दैट अ फर्म यूजिज इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट वैल्यू फॉर इट्स ऑनर्स टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंस लेट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बैलेंस शीट मॉडल ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी टू डिफरेंट साइड्स the left side carries long term assets and short term assets short term assets may include stock or inventories receivables and cash whereas the long term assets may include tangible and intangible assets both these are the investments made by the firm on the right hand side you can see liabilities and stockholders equity there are two type of liabilities the first is current liabilities that may include accounts payable short term notes payable or tax payable whereas the other liabilities are the long term debt the third part of the right hand side is the shareholders equity and this is the residual that left over after paying all liabilities to the externals by the firm from its assets this shareholder equity may include share capital or reserves and retained earnings so if we classify these liabilities into the timings we can say that long term debt and the shareholders equity are the long term sources and current liabilities are the short term sources from these two types of sources accordingly the firm develops short term assets and long term assets if we talk about financing approach of the firm then we can say that the both short term and long term sources are used as a financing means in order to the acquisition of short term and long term assets so the financing becomes equal to the investment now carpet finance looks to answer three different questions the first that what is the composition of assets in this composition we see the composition of fixed assets into tangible and intangible now further the composition talks about the mixture of tangible assets that what would be the proportion of property plant furniture building and other long term assets these composition of long term assets depends upon the nature of the business and this decision is commonly known as capital budgeting to acquire these assets we have to get certain sources these sources may be long term debt and short term debt and shareholders equity or the all now the firm has to decide what would be the proportion of debt and the owners equity and this decision is belonging to the capital structure so the firm has to decide the capital structure it wants to develop the third important question 
कारपेट फाइनेंस में आस्क इज द वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट एज यू नो दैट वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन करेंट एसेट्स एंड करेंट लाइबिलिटीज सो हाउ द नेट वर्किंग कैपिटल वुड बी मैनेज दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट कैन बी आंसर्ड इन कारपेट फाइनेंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स वाइल टॉकिंग अबाउट द नेट वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट वी टॉक अबाउट ऑपरेटिंग कैश फ्लोस बिकॉज दीज आर द कैश फ्लोस दैट आर जनरेटेड इन द ऑपरेशन वाइल यूजिंग करेंट एसर्ट्स एंड मैनेजिंग करेंट लाइबिलिटीज नाउ दे इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट द फर्म वाइल जनरेटिंग कैश इनफ्लोज एंड आउटफ्लोज ड्यूरिंग अ पर्टिकुलर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देर इज अ मिस मैच बिटवीन कैश इनफ्लोज एंड कैश आउटफ्लोज and that mismatch is due to the timings and amounts of the cash flows for example when we talk about timings we can take an example that you can take maximum 17 days to pay your creditors while you allow your debtors to pay back you after 20 days so you are making payments to your creditors 3 days earlier so there is a gap of 3 days between your cash inflows and cash outflows now let's talk about the amounts of the cash inflows and cash outflows let us assume you can get a discount of 2% from your creditors if you make payment within the discount period but you are forced to offer a discount of Three and half percent to your debtors in order to make payment to you. So, while you get certain amount in terms of cash inflows and you pay this amount in terms of cash outflows, there is a difference of amounts. You are receiving a lesser amount while you are paying a higher amount. So, this is the problem that calls about the short-term finance. a finance manager has to create a balance and to fill this gap between cash inflows and cash outflows from balance sheet perspective we call this gap as net working capital management or simply working capital management but from financial point of view or finance point of view this gap is called as mismatching of cash inflows and cash outflows and an ideal finance manager has the ability to cover this gap efficiently and effectively